Minnesota's lost 10 in a row in Houston. <laughs> Just can't win in that place. Just can't win in that place. Kind of like uh, No, uh, stop it, Kenny. Back. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Why did, you, why did you expect more of Minnesota tonight? Because if you're going to be an elite team, you're going to have to score 110 to 15 points a game to beat the Golden State Warriors or, or the Rockets. You said they're averaging 109. That's not enough. And tonight, you get in a free-flowing game with the Rockets. The Rockets, to me, if you got some players, they're the perfect team to play against. There's not a lot of resistance on defense. There's not a lot of physical play. There's a lot of long rebounds that enable you to get a lot of layups. I always tell people, threes are great when they go in, but if they miss them, they're fast break starters. And if I got, I and I've said this about the Minnesota Timberwolves, if I got Jeff Teague with the ball, I got Jimmy Butler on the wing, I got Andrew Wiggins on the wing, and I got Carl Anthony Towns coming full speed, I'm going to score more than 109 points a game. There's no center in the league can run with Carl Anthony Towns, but Wiggins and Butler, they're not great shooters. Get them an extra six to eight, ten points a game on layups and dunks, but they play half-court basketball most of the time, and that's, and that's not going to work in today's NBA. Well, I think, what happens I, I think with them playing half – sorry to cut you off. Yeah. I think with them playing half-court basketball, if they were a superbly executing team like the Spurs, it would work. But they're not. You know, they've settled for shots. You know, we saw Cat go 0 for 5 in, in the first half. So I agree with Chuck, Chuck. When you got talented people like that, you just got to let them go. You just got to let them run and go. You got well, the last word, Jet. Yeah, I, I agree with both of both. them. You know, half-court basketball, uh, when you don't have uh, spot-up shooters, it doesn't allow free-flowing offense. And the second thing is it won't allow all three of those guys to play well at the same time because there's not enough possessions. Yes. So when you play, it only allows one or two of them to play well because the third one will have his percentage of shots taken down drastically like OKC. At, the pace, at, the, at the pace they play. But when you play up, like all of them could get 19 shots, 20 shots, and it's almost it's difficult for them to all get that many shots at the pace they play. 18-point win for the Rockets at home against Minnesota.